We are dealing with ratios of special right triangles. So the key here is making sure that we understand what special right triangles are. There is a uh, generalized, G-E-N-E-R, generalized. There's a generalized and a specific. So the, both of these are kind of good to have in your tool belt. If you can remember the generalized, the specific, which is more important, the specific comes naturally. So <clears throat> there's two special right triangles, two of them. All right. So let's go ahead and look at first. Uh, this case right here is the 45s. I always think about it in terms of degrees. So uh, these legs are the same. This is the right angle, has to be a right angle. And the generalized would be x, x, and then I say x, x, radical 2, x. All right. And then uh, the specific one is if we just look at the coefficients here, the numbers in front of x, that's going to be the specific. Uh, let's go ahead and call this 45. Remember that when the sides match, the angles have to match too for this type of triangle. All right, 45 degrees and 45 degrees. So for the specific, same idea. <clears throat> and remember, these can rotate. So these are 45. These are 45. And these are in degrees. If we needed to convert to radians, we can do that. These sides match. So this would be 1, 1, radical 2. All right. And the next one's a little bit more difficult. So this would be the, this is how I remember it. Here's my right angle, and then I call this x. This one is 2x, and then this one is uh, radical 3x. So it's like 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2. And then the last number, I put in a radical. That's how I remember it. So x, 2x, radical 3x, and then this is our 60 degrees for the way I draw it. The biggest one's on the bottom and then 30 degrees up here. And remember, all the angles have to add up to 180. All the angles have to add up to 180. Then for the uh, specific one, is one, two, radical three, all right? And then this would be the 90 degree, the big ones on the bottom, my 60, and then the small ones on top, 30. And then if you need to, my suggestion, I, I always, if I forget, look it up on Google Images, and then we can kind of find it that way. So we're using these ideas to fit what we have here. All right. So for these, it looks like we're using the generalized ones. All right. But the specific ones are really important. Specific is if you have like a unit circle. So the unit circle means like this is your one unit right here, your one unit right here. But uh, let's not jump ahead of ourselves. All right. So already we can know that this side right here is radical 8. So it's helpful to kind of practice your special right triangles and kind of remember how things work here. Find the length x in simplest radical form with a rational denominator, meaning no uh, radicals or square root signs in the bottom of the fraction. So a couple different ways you can do this. You can treat it like a Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so it would be if you wanted... One way is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and then plugging this in for like a, b, and, <clears throat> and then you can find out what c is. Pretty straightforward. Like just from looking, it looks like square root of 16 says so x would be 4 using the Pythagorean theorem. But let's go ahead and practice our special right triangles. So the special right triangle means it's this one that we're kind of relating it to. So what does this radical 8 link to? This radical 8 links to x. So uh, make sure you, you don't kind of confuse these x's with these x's. This is just kind of the generalized form. So uh, I'll call it, if we want, we can call this y or, yeah, that's fine. We can just call it y. All right, so basically I'm comparing it to something like this where it'd be y, y, square root 2, y, right? So uh, radical 8 is equal to y. And then we would say that that's this one right here. So it would be radical 2 times radical 8. Okay, Radical times a radical. Combine the radicals. So that's 2 times 8 in the radical equals square root of 16 
Final answer, what number times itself is 16? Four. <clears throat> so there we go, four. So just using it to link together what we have here. I guess I probably could have linked it together with the X. I just want to be careful how this is kind of uh, laid out, right? So we would solve for one, and then we plug it into whatever else is needed. <clears throat> All right. So here's the first one, kind of getting through it. Yep. One, one, radical two. So they're using the, the specific form. I like the generalized form. And then they use that to solve for X. Okay. Different way of doing it, but that's fine. So use my way, use his way up to you. 